kama Tif TV. Tif TV tupo kijamii zaidi. Uh, how do we plan? Na sisi na sisi tunatoka kwenye sekta ya mipango. Tuna kwa tuna na, naomba nijikite hapa kwenye hivi vitu vitatu. Collaboration non state actors pamoja na government and non governmental agencies. Sisi mipango yetu huwa ikoje katika kuwaengage kuwa hawa? Kwa eneo hili la 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 la, 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 la Zanzibar. How do you view it? Tuna tuna tuna, 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 tuna engage vizuri hii sekta. Hii sekta binafsi na non state actors kwenye kama sehemu ya wa, ya watekelezaji wa mipango mbalimbali ya maendeleo tunayo tunapokuwa tunapanga mipango yetu do we take the views and think that our plan will engage those people How, what is our view on, our, on, on the process yes karibu mm. usishtaki lakini usi, tusijishtaki tusi hapa tumsemi mtu tuna, tunajaribu tu ku highlight kwamba okay uh, tunaenda vizuri au tuna there must be some issues to rectify and improve kuna wapi ya sekta kwa nini na wananchi moja kwa moja wao wana kodi rahisi kutumia hizo kwa kwanza kwa mfano kama wizara ya nasema ya Na mnakumbuka kwenye CDG one of the goals na targets inatuambia inahusu habari ya partnership si ndio PPP na ku increase kuinsure kwamba tuna tunafika mahali fulani kwa nini ni kwa sababu uh, of the thinking that development is not a one person is not a one man's job si ndio ni ya wote kwa hiyo kuna namna nyingi ya collaborate na sector yeah, ambazo ni non, non state kwa hiyo wakati fulani unaweza kuwa una, unajiconstrain kwenye kuplani lakini kwa kuangalia uwezo wenu tu wenyewe kumbe mngeweza kuipanua hiyo plan yenu ikawa inaona namna gani ita capture engagement ya sekta zingine ambao wengine wapo tu wanasubiri kushirikishwa kuingizwa kwenye kwa kupewa na wenyewe role kwenye plan na kutekeleza kwa, wako tayari kwa hiyo it's just ourselves in our planning process to ensure that we engage them na wakati fulani tunaweza kuona uh, collaboration na engagement ikawa ina, ina face challenge kulingana na approaches tunazozitumia E, approaches za kuingeji kama unamuinform wakati umeshamaliza kuplani na ndio unamwambia bana wewe sasa tunakuja kwa ku private sector si tunampanga huo hapa tunaomba wewe ushike lakini kwenye the process of planning hakuwa hata na sehemu ya kushiriki then it can become like difficult lakini kama anakuwa ni part and parcel of the process wakati fulani anaweza kawa na views na nini na commitment zake zikawa vile zikawa very tactical na zikawa na uwezekano wa kutekelezwa so I think those are the things that we can highlight on that. Yeah, we wanted to speak about the economic systems that uh, entail the planning process lakini and, uh, just to highlight kwamba nyinyi watu ambao wengi wametoka kwenye uchumi we know about market economy, socialist economy and a mixed economy. Na hizi zinatuambia namna gani tunaweza tukapanga kulingana na focus kama sisi tunaoperate kwenye market economy, tunaoperate kwenye socialist economy au tunaoperate kwenye mixed economy. With market economy mara nyingi unakuta development planning inaweza ikawa kama vile less kwa sababu the market leads the process socialist economy uh, more development planning required na mixed economy based of those uh, of both the the, the 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 approaches can be incorporated kwa hiyo tunatakiwa tu tujue kwamba sisi tuna operate kwenye mfumo gani lakini haya mazingira yanatuambia kwamba lazima tu tu, tu tuwe na mipango kwa sababu tusipokuwa na mipango katika mazingira tunayo operate vitu vitakwenda kienyeji na mwisho wa siku tunaweza tusifikie uh, kule ambako tunataka kwenda so those that, that was just a highlight talking about the process this is another item uh, planning process 
na yenyewe kama tumevyosoma kwenye taaluma na kwenye na kwenye practice wengi tunaweza tukaiweka katika katika very few stages au dismantled or a long term uh, long list of stages so in a nutshell kwenye planning process tuta, tuna, tunategemea kuona analysis of environment setting of objectives tunaona development of premises kwa maana kwamba sisi ni tuna operate katika context ipi uh, determine and evaluate the alternatives kwa sababu tutakuwa na alternatives nyingi kwa ajili ya ku ya kuachivu ile goal tunao plan lakini tunaweza kuona ipi ambayo itakuwa ni best alternative na kuselect formulation of derivative or detailed plan lakini tuna budget formulation implementation of a plan na follow up action kwa hiyo planning process ina ina entail mambo yote haya uh, sidhani kama kuna plan ambayo inafanyika bila kufanya analysis of the situation situation analysis ndio na ndio maana hata kwenye documents za plans yote cha kwanza tunataka tuone what is the situation situation when we talk of situation we are talking about the the the, the current uh, facts si ndio current facts na hapa ndipo tunaposemaga tunataka data kwa hiyo tukija tunataka kupanga mpango wa afya tunataka mpanga mpango wa, wa sekta ya, ya kilimo the first thing is to look for data analysis of the environment tunataka data data zinatuambiaje takwimu zinatuambiaje so with respect to population market tungesema kwamba tunataka tuone takwimu za watu sensa yetu ni base projections za, za, za population zinatuambiaje kuhusu sekta hii eh kwa mfano tunataka kupanga labda mpango wa afya ambao una, una, una focus katika ku, ku ensure service uh, access uh, health service delivery health, health service delivery systems au health services delivery ku ensure kwamba imekuwa improved kwa wananchi lazima tuwe na, na takwimu na taarifa za sasa zinazotuambia kwamba currently uh, access iko level gani katika indicators tofauti tofauti lakini pia lazima tujue environment yetu ya ndani na ya nje tunayo operate within ourselves kwa maana ya uh, strength weaknesses uh, outside the, the organization or the institution tuna, tuna challenges zipi zinazo prevail politically economically na kadhalika then ndipo tunaweza tukasema kwamba okay tuna, tuna, tuna malengo gani kwa sababu malengo yatazaliwa na baada ya kuwa tumeona situation lakini tumeona pia uh, what are the key issues emerging issues kwenye sekta usika ambao tunaipanga tuna, tuna issues gani ambazo tunaziona zina image out of the facts that we have out of the information that we have out of the previous performances that we have what are the things that we think are things to be taken on board on the future action kwa hiyo hizo zitatusaidia ku develop uh, objectives lakini pia tuta context tuta contextualize hizo objectives zetu na tutaweza kuona kwamba okay katika kutekeleza hizo objectives what are the options that we have we can have a range of options a wide spectrum of them ambayo hatuwezi kutekeleza vyote kwa hiyo tutakuwa na, na assessment ya hizo alternatives kuona kwamba ipi ambayo tukitekeleza itakuwa tutapatia uh, quick wins fast uh, returns fast performance kwenye hiyo objective yetu so the ones that are good katika terms ya resource allocation resource utilization na resource efficiency zitatuambia kwamba okay, these are the best alternatives to undergo with kwa mfano kwenye issue ya ya kuna, kuna mjadala kwenye issue ya energy na electricity si ndio baadhi ya tuna energy mix si Tanzania tuna tuna baraka ya kupata vyanzo vingi vya nini vya vya, vya energy au vyanzo vya umeme na hiyo inatusababisha tuwe na choices lengo la nchi ni kuhakikisha kwamba nchi inakuwa sufficient kwenye kwenye supply ya umeme kwa wananchi wake kwa matumizi ya kawaida na ya viwanda si ndio sasa hivi tunajenga standard gauge railways tunataka umeme tunataka kusupply umeme kia, tunataka umeme unao utakaosaidia industrialization na uwekezaji wa aina mbalimbali sasa swali linakuja hiyo ni objective kuu tulionao si ndio what are the options do we have in that respect katika kutekeleza hiyo objective kwamba tunapata umeme wa kutosha na surplus kwa ajili ya kuuza kwa wengine tunakuja kwenye alternatives alternatives tulizo nazo tuna vyanzo vya umeme tofauti tofauti si ndio tuna gesi tuna tuna nini tena msaidieni kutaji eh tuna gesi hiyo nimetaja moja mimi aha makaya mawe nyingine hydro maji si ndio na hey, nyingine upepo 
jua 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 usola si ndio sasa hizo zote ni vyanzo vya ma, vya, 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 vya electric energy tulivyo navyo lakini tunasema tunataka tuangalie alternatives katika hizi ni ipi ambayo ni efficient kwa nasikia wakati fulani bungeni wakivutana baadhi wakisema tungechukua kwanza hydro power ndio inaweza ikawa na low cost wakati ukimaliza ku, 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 kuseti uh, kupata umeme kwa kutumia maji gharama yake na, 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 na cost of production ni ndogo kwa hiyo mwananchi atapata kwa bei rahisi umeme kuna watu wanasema hivyo lakini kuna wengine wanasema hapana duniani ukiangalia umeme wa gesi ndio chip kwa hiyo kuna kuna hiyo kuna hizo dialogues zinaendelea kutokana na takwimu zinazoonyesha kwenye prices na cost of production na cost, cost of delivery of that service to the people kwa hiyo sasa hizo options zinaweza katusaidia kufika mahali kwamba okay hizo taarifa zitatuambia option ipi ni best je twende na zote tuwe na energy mix kwa maana ya kwamba okay kwa sababu hii ina weakness hii hii ina strength hii hapa kwa pamoja hatuwezi kuignore kabisa hii option kwa sababu peke yake haiwezi kusupplement kutupatia kile ambacho tunafanya nini kutaka kutekeleza kwenye goal yetu kwa hiyo tunaweza tukamfanya mix sasa ndio tunasema okay let's mix tuchukue hiki hapa tuchukue hiki hapa twende navyo vyote kwa pamoja au tuchukue passe tuamue bana sisi bwana mambo ya gesi piga chini mambo ya upepo piga chini sisi tuna na nini tu na maji lakini sasa mtu mwingine atakwambia maji maji yetu yana mito kila siku inakauka siku na nini sasa kama tutategemea chanzo kimoja tu alternative moja what, what if it happens mito imekauka au na, na climate uh, variability iki affect tunafanyaje ndipo nasema okay let's go for energy mix kwa hiyo hizi options au alternatives ambazo tunazifikia kuamua kwa ajili ya kutekeleza objective yetu kwa hiyo planning sio tu kitu ambacho tunasema kwamba tunaenda tu kusema kwamba tutafanya hivi na strategy ni hapa no lazima tuwe na, na uwezo wa kuziangalia alternatives nyingi lakini pia tuangalie mixing ya hizo alternatives na choice ya best alternative ambayo itatusaidia kwa kweli tukisema kwamba tunatekeleza kwa alternative hizo hapa then we can achieve the objective kuna wakati fulani unaweza kuangalia mpango kaangalia na strategy zilizowekwa ukaona kwamba there are two different things yani mpango na alternatives zilizochaguliwa havikai pamoja yani alternatives zinatekeleza kitu kingine na mpango umekaa huko kwa hiyo mwisho wa siku tukija kuangalia afanya tathmini ya mradi tathmini ya mpango tutakuta hukutekelezwa kwa nini kumbuka kifuatilia ni alternatives ambazo zilichaguliwa au alternatives zimechaguliwa lakini baadaye zikakaa kama rubber stamp no nothing was implemented according to the alternatives chosen kwa hiyo ni vizuri kutokuwa tu tuna, tunasema ni alternative hii lakini tuwe tuna tuwe clear kwamba hiyo alternative tumeichagua itatusaidia kutekeleza formulation of derivative hii ni action ambayo unaweza uka, ukaifanya sasa kwa sababu umeshakuwa na alternative na nini budget is a simple thing kwa sababu utakuwa umeshajua unataka nini na inputs ni nini you can turn the alternatives and inputs requirements into budgetary or financial costing of the of the action so those are the processes ni nitaka tu tuziguse kifupi kama nilivyosema kwamba we are not going into detail uh, it's just a, a concept sababu tunafanya planning is a, a thing that we are planning to we are doing every uh, in our daily routine na hata sasa tumesema tu kwa kwenye planning na budgeting kwa hiyo these are just things that we are refreshing si ndio approaches to development planning ziko za aina tofauti kuna economic growth approach kuna strategic planning approach na top down approach au bottom up approach economic growth approach ni approach ambayo tuna plani lakini sisi perspective yetu ni kukuza nini uchumi strategic planning ni ile ambayo ina take in on board kwamba tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba maendeleo ya watu na huduma kwa jamii na the holistic growth of the country goes strategically la top down approaches ni zile approach ambazo tunapanga kutokea juu kwenda chini na bottom up approach ni zile ambazo tunapanga mipango inaanzia chini kwenda juu it's more participatory than the top down kiwa kama tv 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 tupo kijamii zaidi